my friend, my friend, we're gonna be talking about E flat major. Now we did the hypothetical chord of D sharp. Now the idea is you'd rather write and play and think with less things going on. So when you have double sharps in the case of D sharp, it makes much more sense to write and sense music in E flat. So having said that, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then our first of the two rollers with our pinky gives us an E flat. When we remove all of our fingers except for the three that are up top, stationary, and then our first finger, we get an F natural. Removing that finger alone and holding this, remember, keep your thumb on the uh, thumb over here while you're doing this and it'll help it keep in place. If you're playing with your uh, concert style to the side and you do not cross your legs, try and keep the bell near your knee. And if you have it in the middle, extend it out and put a little bit of length on this so you're uh, using the neck strap to actually support yourself. Your neck will get a little bit sore, but you will build up tension. Remember to sit up straight and let the air flow from the bottom of your diaphragm with deep breaths. The idea is being able to hold notes for measures and take breaths at different places to syncopate them will help overall playing scales and doing your practicing. Practice this. The E flat goes to the F, as we said. Lift the finger, goes to the G, and then our pinky goes down on that first pad, G pad, to make an A flat. We're then going to go to the B flat, put our middle finger here on the C pad, all six down like we did for the E flat, that's a D, and then we're gonna play the E flat. So once again, E flat, one, two, three, one, two, three, all of them down in the first of the roller pads for the E flat. Lift all of our fingers that are on the bottom except for that first, and we get an F natural. Lift that finger. And we get a G, put our first finger down on that first of the pearly pads, and we're gonna get our A flat, Lift all of our fingers except for our first finger on the first pad, and here's the caveat for this B flat. Wah, 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 wah. We play a B flat by playing both of these ivory beauties like that. We can play it four different ways. I'll make another video explaining why we do that and how to play each one of those. But for this exercise, fluidity, fluidity, fluidity. We're gonna play the B flat. You'll see why when we play one, three, five in a second. B flat, then it's gonna to go to a C. I don't generally see a lot of people do a movement like this that is improper. We would just use the same fingering we would feel and make it feel natural. And then all six down. One, two, three, four, five, six for the D major. Uh, D note, boom, and then E flat with that pinky back again. Let's play the whole scale again and then play a one, three, five. One, three, five would be the E. Omit the F and play right to the G. I'm sorry, E flat. Omit the F, play straight to the G, and then play to the B flat, and then play down your E flat again. But when you get up to the top, make sure you use your octave note, or else you might live with a squeaky squeaky. Okay, here we go. <gasps> is up to you but what you practice should be defined when we're practicing use the notes you just saw here today to be able to understand when you play of oh, this note it's an F it's not an F sharp it's not an E it's an F we can call it an E sharp or we can call it a G double flat <laughs> but it's still the note you internalize in your brain when you're sight reading this note the F, you will res resoundingly know that it is the first space on the treble clef, it is the top line on the treble clef, and it is on the bass clef, which you're not going from generally here now. Uh, it is the uh, the second line down with the two dots around it because the bass clef is in the F clef. So the concept behind this is putting little pieces of information together. Check out this channel, other channels, and learn a couple major scales, and then go from there. Working our one, three, five, one will help us to get articulation that is not in a half step or a whole step.